Where are you taking me? Taking you travelling. Taking me travelling? Yeah. Oh. I don't know where we're going. Not a clue? Not a clue. Oh, are we following the bonnet? Yeah. Okay. We're going to get on that tunnel, go under that pond. Under that pond? And then we're either going to go that way, that way or that way. Caught the train this year at 1.20 in the morning. Um, last year we caught at 6.30 and ended up in Belgium probably about 8 to 8.30 in the morning. Was very tired because I was travelling all day. So this time we decided to catch it in the morning. Go to Dunkirk, a park up, which was a lovely park up next to the lake. Um, get our heads down for a little bit and then end up in Dunkirk for some breakfast, which worked out a lot better sleep-wise and not feeling so tired. For all our park ups, we just use Park for Night app um, and managed to find some good park ups. I wake up from the sunshine on my face, so dehydrated, don't know what to say. Sleeping by my side What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was... I don't know, is it a latte? Yeah, it's an iced caramel latte Iced caramel latte Nice Where are we? I am not know, Apparently I've only done an hour's driving according to you You've been asleep for the hour, so we could be anywhere. Woman's privilege. Who's driving now? You are. <laughs> yeah, I'll take four hours then. Yeah, my, my hour is your four. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Supposed to be quiet. Be into myself and sit in silence. Until I got a call. Showed up at my door. They wanted me to go. Are you doing some of the driving now? Oh, yes. <laughs> Take you a straight bit. You get a straight bit? I got a straight bit. I can do that. No islands or roundabouts? Or oh, what? It's them roundabouts. What? I was like, this is not very straight. <laughs> We drove until we were both tired. We decided to stop at Marmutia. We'd been travelling for probably about eight, nine hours at this point. Um, so we decided to call it a day and spend the night here. Here's our little Ben. We've come when there's a um, fair on, so there's lots of music. Oh, yeah. oh yes, but this is very <laughs> cultural. <laughs> it's a very pretty little village, though. Oh, I'm going down this way, I think. There's ventures everywhere. Oh, look. I was saying you wanted pizza. Here he comes. <laughs> Thank you. 
not hokey duck, it's catch a ball. Oh, we can hokey duck and a unicorn. It's always good to come up in little alleyways to find cute things. How's your pizza? It's beautiful. Lovely. Looks nice. And Bailey is asking for some pizza. I don't think Daddy's going to give you pizza, Bailey. Can Parma? Good boy. It's a nice little park up. Our van is just down there. Not sure if you can see it on this camera. That's just down there. Park up for the night. Walked into the village. Enjoyed the fair. Had a couple mm -hmm. of pints. And I think the only two nights of the year they had a fair. <laughs> they had a, a fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. We can't hear it from here though, can we? So no. That's nice. And you can just see the Abbey in the distance there. There's the mini tunnel, so I'm sure. Swiss tunnel. Yeah, you're going through the Swiss mountain. is for it. 
What we got? A new diet. What is it? Beer and ice cream. <laughs> I wonder if you could do a beer float. You just have a coke float. Drift <laughs> in the river and see quick floats. Yeah, potentially won't. See if I, see if I float after eating it. Oh, let's see if you do. Ladies. Yes, he comes. Ladies, what can? Ladies, what can? It's a little bit busy. Graveyard as well. It's like got a lovely waterfall on one side and a very nice graveyard, I have to say. I decided to take the train up to Grindelwald to have an explore up there. Um, the train ride was nice, Bailey was loud on the train. So Whilst in Grindelwald, um, unfortunately Simon lost his camera on one of the trains when we was getting off and on. Um, it's quite a specialised camera, um, so from now on this sort of dictated where we was going to travel because we was looking for shots to be able to go and buy um, quite a specialised camera. So our travel journey, I suppose, really was dictated by going to these shops.
we arrived back at the van feeling slightly deflated with no idea where we was going next. Um, so join us next time to find out where we ended up.